French fashion designers, such as Madeleine Viennet, began draping clothes on the bias in the late 1920s, but it became the predominant style of women's dresses in the 1930s. Cutting garments on the bias means turning the fabric 45 degrees against the weave or on a diagonal. This results in a dress that hugs the woman's curves in a way that was new to consumers. This new silhouette was epitomized in evening gowns, which frequently featured low-cut backs. This skin-bearing style was inspired by the new fad for sunbathing and going to the beach, motivated by an increased interest in health, sport, and leisure. Health and fitness were important features of a 1930s lifestyle. The glamour of Hollywood and California culture increased the popularity of beachgoing. As a result, it became popular to have bronzed skin for the first time. Sun worshippers fueled the market for beach wraps, sun hats, and increasingly revealing swimsuits. While bathing suits had been evolving into a style better fitted to active swimming, in the 1930s they were much more revealing than their predecessors. Swimsuits had low cut backs in order to expose as much of the body to the sun as possible. It was these low cut swimsuits which inspired designers to create low back evening gowns. In the centuries leading up to the 1930s, having tanned skin was not desirable. It was a sign that an individual was of a lower class and worked outdoors, such as farmers and other laborers. Conversely, in the 1930s, having tanned skin was a sign that you were successful enough to have time away from working in order to spend your free time traveling to the beach and relaxing in the sun.